Hey folks and welcome to another long walk home. Happy Canada Day. It's Friday. I've been working with a, another guy at the uh, club there trying to work from uh, Butterfly Guard and learn some sweeps and some control from there. Uh, I'm really liking it. It's a spot that I find I'm not very effective and hopefully I'll be able to uh, implement some of the sweeps and control as I practice more and more. It's feeling a bit better anyway as far as um, understanding the position a bit more and I'm finding my feet from seated position there in the butterfly guard really have to like flare them out and put pressure into the person for it to be uh, effective in any way because it's easy for them to just hop over your feet and then getting the uh, two-on-one for an arm drag it's tough it's a real battle there just trying to grab her hands and it feels it feels kind of awkward because you're constantly pummeling but I guess that's the game right one of my favorite guys to watch for training tips and that sort of thing is Neil Melanson. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. He's a MMA coach and just he's, he's, uh, his Jiu Jitsu is really kind of catch wrestling based a little bit. And I really like the stuff that he shows. He can be a bit long winded sometimes, but I really need to know the whys of things. So I think that's really good for me. As opposed to, to just seeing the, the technique and then having you know a dozen questions as to why we're doing it that way and not a different way so anyway Neil Melanson he has a video the Ironman guillotine and I really like how he sets it up and I, I went to the gym with the intent to actually work on that and I, uh, I landed it twice last week one day and then today I had the choke, but I couldn't feel the um, somebody was, they were defending with their hand in, locked my arm a bit, but I couldn't feel that, so I thought I had the choke, and I kind of gassed myself out a little bit. But I uh, think that's going to be a really good uh, setup, good submission for me. Yeah, just looking forward to honing those skills. Besides that, we have UFC to 76, throw out a sign and cannoneer. Interesting to see how that fight goes. I think probably it, 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 it all of a sudden he's gonna win that one, but can and here's no no shoot can. Oh that breeze feels good. Ooh. Who else we got? Oh we have um Cowboy Cerrone against uh it happens. Cerrone's fight's been cancelled the last couple times there, so let's see how that goes. Anyway, I'm excited for the fights tomorrow and uh, hope everybody's having a great Canada Day. And for all of my friends in the in the America, United States of, I hope you guys are having a great, uh, great weekend. I think it's a long weekend for you guys too, is it not? July 4th. Anyway, hope everyone's having a great day out there.